It's like saying the same thing over and over again. Um, the best way, ladies and gentlemen, to learn how to do them is you just have to practice. All right, just do one. The best way what I'd recommend is take one of the ones that I've done, right? Then cover it up with a sheet of paper and then try to do it on your own. Whenever you get stuck, just slide the paper down to the part you got stuck. Then fill in the answer and then try to finish it off. See the answer? Write down the correct answer, take a new sheet of paper, and then try to do it again. It's the best way I can tell you guys to get those problems because I know a lot of you, you just need repetition. Yes, Japonica. Huh? It's Q. Thank you. Okay. So what, do we do, what to do on a problem like this? To do a problem like this, ladies and gentlemen, first thing you got to do is factor out, right? You always got to look for your GCF. Can you factor out your GCF? So we look at this and we say, do these three terms share anything? And obviously they all have an x. But the, most amount of, the highest um, value of an x that I can factor out is going to be x to the first power. And then what else, do any numbers, can we factor out any numbers on here? Yes, 3. So let's factor out a 3x. When I factor out a 3x, I'm left with an x squared minus 2x um, minus 15. Now, did we write this as a product of two factors? Yeah, we did, right? Good. However, did I factor um, 12? Yeah, I did. But can we factor this further? Yes, we can, right? So sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, like look at, but when you factor 5, 5 factored is just 5 times 1. That's it, right? That's the only way you can factor it. Um, sometimes, though, we can factor this further. So if you see an opportunity to factor it further, do it. So we look at this. Can we factor this? Well, I don't know. What, are our, what were our techniques to factor this? Remember, we could take the point negative 15 and negative 2. What two numbers multiply to give us negative 15 but add to give us negative 2? There you go. And since my coefficient of x is 1, I can rewrite those simply as my two products. So I say x minus 5 times x plus 3. So do you guys see how this one's like a double factoring out? I can double factor it down. Okay. All right, that's it.